Yo, what's going on guys, Arax here and welcome back to another E3 video. And in this video, I want to talk about the new Xbox One S or Xbox One Slim. This was of course announced during Microsoft's press conference this morning, but this afternoon or this evening they actually had a showcase where we got to go hands on with some games. Alongside that they also have the console set up there. Got a chance to look at it up close and personal, it looks really, really nice. I've got to say that some of the pictures don't really do it justice, they don't really make it look that much smaller, but seeing it in person it definitely does look a lot nicer. Now, just to kind of quickly give you guys a summary if you guys haven't seen the specs. This thing is basically just a slimmer version of the Xbox One, but there are a few additional bonuses that come with this. So firstly it is 40% smaller and it also has a built-in power supply so you don't have to worry about plugging it in with a massive hefty power brick. There are however no performance differences between this and the current Xbox One, but it does come in three different versions, one terabyte, two terabytes and a 500 gigabyte version. There are also prices for those, so the two terabyte version comes in at $399 or £349. The one terabyte version is $349 and £299 and the 500 gigabyte version is $299 and £249. Now the Xbox One S does have 4K Ultra HD video support, so that's only for Blu-ray and video, not for games. It also has HDR capabilities for both gaming and video. They've also moved the side USB port to the front along with the controller pairing button and an improved IR blaster. But one of the other things you want to bear in mind is that the Xbox One Slim does not include a Kinect port. So you will actually have to get a USB adapter if you want to use Kinect with the new console. But they did say they're going to be rolling out a program whereby if you are upgrading and you're an existing Kinect owner, then you should be able to get that USB adapter for free. And that's pretty much it. So for the time being, I'm going to leave you guys with some footage just to look in the background. It does look really, really nice. But thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned on the channel for plenty more E3 coverage. For the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.